チュー。Episode. We started out here at the Aether Paradise. Um, I actually, I think that's about all we really did. We bought, we fought Nanu. Uh, we did that, and then we came here to Aether Paradise, and we basically fought our way up to here. And I decided to cut it off right there, so this episode wasn't super damn long. But as you saw from the beginning, there we have a new team member. Meet Paralyzed Hacks, the Ra the Alolan Raichu. Now, if you've been here since like way back in I, it was, I think it was like 2012, actually, when uh, Josh and I did a... It was a Fire Red, Leaf Green sort of co-op playthrough sort of thing. It was really, really bad how it ended up. I found the sh a shiny Mankey in that. That's one of the uh, greatest things that's ever happened. I don't even... I, I don't think the video is even on the channel anymore, but I found a shiny Mankey live right after I said I, I really should have put on a rappel. So, anyways, it was pretty cool. So this thing has got Psychic, Hidden Power, Grass, Thunder Wave, and Thunderbolt. Now, basically, I just kind of bred this off a a Pikachu that Eric gave me. And, um, so that's pretty much about it. It's got a Timid Nature with Surge Surfer, because the one I was given had a Lightning Rod, and has the Electrium Z, because I don't have the right Raichium Z, and we, I believe we get that here in, uh, we get it in Ponytown, so we'll be able to use that. I don't know exactly what move, I, it might just be Thunderbolt, but anyway, uh, pretty cool stuff. We have another, we have a Psychic type now, so that's pretty nice. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and it'll be bulkier than Pikachu, and also hit harder. What? Why, what naughty children, you should just lay your heavy heads down. But I knew you would struggle onward, I, knew through every a I could see through every action you would take, I knew you would try to reach the president. And that is why I knew I'd be able to ambush you here. Just murder the mansion where the president remains in remedy my previous failure. The only reason I let you to the lower floor is to buy time to gather more staff to stop you. Well, Mr. Fabi, you're so nice. Well, well, of course, I'm a wonderful branch chief after all. We didn't even have to ask where the president was and you just confirmed it for us. So the president's up ahead, huh? Thanks, now we know where to find Kazumag and Lily. What?! Enough! You got to teach these children a lesson. You don't. We don't have time for this. Hang out, Olivia. Okay. So are we fighting two grunts, or are we actually fighting Faba? Yeah, we're fighting the two grunts. How is battling the other grunt, and maybe we'll be battling Faba after. All right, Magmar and Electabuzz. Okay. What are you gonna lead out with? Type no. Okay. So I can use. Actually, it could be Zoroark. Um. Bulldoze will do decently for me, though. That's my what I really want to do. Because it hits all three of them, but it hits Electabuzz and Magmar for super effective damage. It also should avoid, um... Static. So that's pretty nice. You're gonna go for the Lava Plume, obviously, on the Type Null. Oh no, it hits everybody. That makes sense. Ha! <laughs> you burned your buddy! And you burned Type Null. Yeah, okay, it actually is the Type Null. That still did a lot of damage. Alright, defense fall of Magmar just straight up goes down. Very nice. Sorry to lower your speed, Type Null. But it's for the greater good. And Java goes level 41. Very nice. Hound Doom. Alright, so bu Bulldoze is still the best play to go for. Jeez, man, this all this lag, that's crazy. They're all just going for Type Null. I feel so bad for it. Is it just because it's a higher level? Because... Definitely... Um... Incineroar is a threat. Anyway, Electabuzz faints, and Java gains more XP. You're gonna go for the Crush Claw, and that should kill Houndoom. I was gonna say that, but then I forgot you're burned. 
because of that stupid lava plume. Okay, yeah, so... Once again, Bulldoze is still my best bet, and I'm sorry, I'm probably going to be the one to take you out, Type Null. Magnetic will outspeed all of us, but... Oh my, poor Type Null, dude. They're literally just going for Type Null. It's crazy. They're going to go for Embargo, that's fine. I don't even need to use items, because I haven't taken any damage. Nice. Java gains 1,800, and it'll, it'll be level 42 before we're done. You're gonna go for the Hyper Voice? That might straight up Oko. Nope. You're gonna go for Discharge? That would suck if you paralyzed me, man. Thank you. Alright, even if Static goes off, that's okay. Because I can just heal that off, and I it was last turn, so it really doesn't matter. Anyway, we beat these guys. Bulldoze came in handy. Zapper goes level 42. Very nice. Yeah, this gets back, back to Honest Pokemon Conservation for me. Losing you generate dark feelings in me. <laughs> okay. Now how can this be to be cornered by mere children? May help on one another isn't so bad. Lily how I leave Faba to you. Enough, I'll show you the true power of Banshee Faba. The man who's called the Paradise is his last line of defense. We'll settle this at last with a multi battle. Oh, come on, Lily. I noticed that you and the rest of our Pokemon feel the same way we do. We can save Lily and Cosmog for sure. Alright, Faba's got three mons. He's gonna lead with a Claydol. Claydol and Ledian. Yeah, I think Bubbles is a good idea. X Defense. Okay, so I'm definitely using my. Um. Waterium Z on the Claydol. Dude, they're literally. They don't attack my Pokemon. I think it is level based, because they've all just attacked their Pokemon. So I'm a Hydro Vortex the Claydol. And I'm expecting Raichu to take out the Ledian. That works. But I'm just going to take down this Claydol. You're going to go for Earth Power on the poor Raichu, which will knock it out. At least you took down one Pokemon, Raichu. Appreciate it. Wow. That defense boost really did help. <laughs> That's funny that how and I have two of the same Pokemon. Like, that wasn't even intended, that just happened. Alright, I'm going to go for the Waterfall on the the Pupitar, see if Decidueye will go for Claydol. He's going to use his Grassy and Z. Okay, let's see, who are you attacking? If it's the Pupitar, that's way overkill. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's already four times a week to whatever move, so you could have saved that for a Pokemon more deserving of a freaking Z move. Bubbles goes to level 42 anyway, and... I don't think this waterfall will take out the clay doll. See, they're literally not going for me at all. I'm pretty sure it is to do with level. Alright, I'm going to switch right now into Judy. So Judy can get in there. Because I'm Decidueye outspeeds and it's going to kill the clay doll. And I want Judy to get some XP here. Because Judy's only at level 41. And you go for the Spirit Shackle. Nice. Next up is Bruxish. Return should be stronger. Go for the Spirit Shackle. Hang in there, Decidueye. Oh, do you have Tough Jaws? Or whatever that... The... Iron Jaws or something like that? This man's cheating. It doesn't become a Noiver until level 48. How is a cheater? Okay, um... I'll try the... Well, Brutal Swing hits Noiburn, so I still won't go for that. Gonna go for the Dragon Pulse. Should do a decent amount. Hypno doesn't have that great of special defense, yeah. That was a fu that was- Uh-oh! Hang in there, Judy. Judy's a beast, man! Judy's such a good Pokemon. I'm gonna heal up and let the Noiburn take this thing out. Mainly because I want- I, I, I really want Judy to get the XP. I only healed up Judy just in case the Dragon Pulse didn't actually take out the Hypno. Because I could have gotten a return- I, I could have gotten a quick attack off. I knew- I know that wouldn't have killed, but, you know. Anyway. I There's an impression for you. I <laughs> I really don't like how they did that with the animation. Where they had him run to that place and then he had to stop to readjust himself. I don't know, if they could have, like, taken off the grid for the cutscenes and made him just run that entire path. 
I'm gonna save Lily some going on ahead. <laughs> Just the expressions. This is my like my favorite part. He's worried. Gladian's completely angry. How's ecstatic and I'm just now I'm dead inside. Thanks for giving us some key, Mr. Bobby, you've been a big help. This one I can't bring myself to like children. What do children have to do with this? We were adults. We would have done the same thing. But you would have done the same thing. You wouldn't have you're bad. But anyway, okay this is the part where we try to make it so epic by having him run up to Guzma. Who looks like a Uku billion Team Skull thugs in this place? Foundation really is working together with Team Skull? It's like way too mind blowing to think about right now. Oh, Lily, let's knock some skulls together for now. I was just. I was looking at Twitter and Wolfenstein 2 started trending. That's because Wolfenstein 2 won. Uh, best action game, which is well deserved because that game is awesome. Pelbu's wings were all busted up, and now I can fly at last. All right, I'm glad. Hi, hey, buddy. There's just two full heels on either side of this area. Can you actually like follow me down the stairs, Pelipper? No. Okay. Pelipper's overworld sprite is much cuter than the Pokemon actually is. It's kind of an irritating Pokemon. Like, especially when you keep running into them. Alright, you're gonna lead out with a Golbat. I've got my... This dude. When does it learn Stone Edge? It learns Stone Edge not too long. 48. So it should have it before we go into the late 4. I'm not gonna try- I'm gonna try to be not as underleveled as I was last time we went to the 4. I ended up going in there with level 50s. And Kukui's got almost level 60s, I think. Something pretty close to that. This is for the sponsor of Sports Team Skull. Radicate! Alright, let's see. This brick break will probably Oko. Yeah. Four times super effective. And Lycanroc has got great attack with 117. This thing is awesome. If only had a better move pool. That's literally the one of the few things uh, holding Lycanroc back is its move pool. Yo! Pretty strong, ain't you? Go right ahead. Ain't no numb skull. I don't fight battles can't win. That's good. Ah, I'm still not strong enough. All the days I struggled alone and lonely was for nothing. Is that it? <laughs> the hater boss who beats you down or beats you down never lets up. Yeah, big bad Guzma's here. Yeah, I did that sporty little brat a favor and crushed him. Yeah, that was me. You know, I kind of like you, kid. Leaving home like that and want to get stronger and stronger. He had some real guts. Going so far as to come over to Team Skull and rejecting your old mother? That was impressive. And now it's your turn. You little misfits keep getting up in my grill like cloud of smoke. I can't brush away. It's time to put you out your fire at the source. Alright, we'll see. Failed the last two times. Did we fight him twice? I think we've only fight... No, I don't think we fought him at the at Po Town. I think we just fought him in the melee garden. Since I'm kind of hoping you go for the first impression. Oh, never mind, he didn't. He's going probably for Razor Shell or Liquidation. This will do a lot of damage. I don't think it'll it'll kill, but it'll do a lot of damage. I may be w technically not technically. I may be wasting this now, but I gotta give it a shot. Oh, emergency exit! Boom. Sweet, you're gonna send out Vickable. Okay. I can probably live one of whatever you wanna hit me with. So I'll just drop some rocks on you. Thank you for the crit, my dude. Flash cannon. Oh! I might not live that. Yeah, Vickable's kind of like absurdly good. There's that. I know you won't have anything super effective against Judy, so I'm gonna send in Judy so I can revive my Lycanroc so you can get the XP. And then I will... Uh, I can hit this thing with a quick attack, and I'm pretty sure it's at a point where quick attack will kill. So Thunderbolt's gonna hurt. Bug Buzz would've done more. Judy, you're a beast! Thank you. I don't even need to use quick attack, because this thing's so damn slow. So... 
Anyway, good job, Judy. Thank you for coming in and helping out. Next up is Pinsir. I should have given Doctor Who acrobatics or something. I really wish he could learn Aerial Ace. I think we'll go into Java. Let Java handle this. You outspeed me and I did not know you got Stone Edge by level up. I don't know how. How did I not know that? I think I'm gonna heal and see if I can get a Stone Edge Mist. Because I know that I can live one without a crit. A Hyper Potion won't even heal me up to full. That's how bad Hyper Potions are now. And there's... Oh, not a crit, just a max roll. Whatever. Okay, now I know Judy will outspeed, but I want to see if Pinsir will have Quick Attack. Because I want to go for a return to make sure I kill it. Actually, how does it have... It has TMs? Because it does not learn Stone Age by level up. That's why that confused me. That doesn't make any sense. Does Stormthrow have priority? I thought Stormthrow was the one that crit. No. Again, it's like that Crocorock situation in the black... It was either black and white or black and white too when I did the, uh, the Nuzlocke's there. But that doesn't make sense because... With a speed boosting nature, perfect IVs at level 45, it has 104. And it doesn't have EVs, because that's not something that happens. And you can see Lopany is a speed of 110. So, that doesn't make any sense. That's... I mean, that makes me really, really angry, because that doesn't make any sense while you outspeed me. Oh, you... No, 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 no. I don't know what to say because that doesn't make any sense. Raichu's faster than Lycanroc, right? I may have just sent Raichu in to die. And that's quick attack kills. It doesn't have this one doesn't have quick attack, forgot about that. Okay, Alolan Raichu, what is your speed stat? Base 110. No, never mind, that was It's still base 110 for Alolan Raichu. They don't I mean I per this Raichu is max speed already. Max speed, max special attack. That doesn't make any sense. It literally makes none. There are things like that, like, I don't understand. How do you not kill the stupid Masquerade? Why did you go for Icy Wind? Mm, thank you, Paralyzed Axe. Whew, perfect. Oh my goodness. Last Pokemon is Galeespod. We're switching. We're going to Doctor Who because I don't want to use, I don't want first impression to just obliterate my Raichu. I remember Guzma gave me a lot of trouble when we came in here during the Wonder Wedlock. Suck Punch. Dude, what is it with the with everything and getting crits against me? Thank you, Doctor Who. That was unnecessarily tough. That pincer shouldn't have outsped my Lopany or my Lycanroc. No, there's no possible way it could have outsped. Guzma, what is wrong with you? Looks like I got no choice. Go on, go through. So this thing had a perfect speed IV. So it would need 56. How many? Let's see. Is it actually 56 or is it a little less? Okay, 52. It would need 52 EVs in speed to outspeed me. That doesn't make any sense, man. Because Lompany is also 200 base speed higher than, than Pinsir. I don't get it, man. It's not cool, game. Would you heal me up? No. Nope. Oh. What are you two doing here? It's been some time since we last met, try going Vegeta! I do not know if you learned anything more about Vegeta, but it seems we might have out of the means to we came to do Vegeta! If a Pokemon caught in the Pokeball can be made to obey the orders of the one who catches it, we should be able to control Vegeta! 
Pokemon Cotton, Vegeta Balls are loyal to the Vegetas who hold them. Should be the same for Vegeta. So we'll need you to leave us in peace so we may do our job, Vegeta. Captain Fico, the only same word for Cosmog safety. And they're able to use Z-Moves, the power of the Blinding One. Our suggestion we rely on Vegeta's stand against the wild fury of Vegeta. It's not kinder to stop them here. Uh, is it... Whatever. Is it not kinder to stop them here rather than send them against that Vegeta? Kinder, not kinder. I was thinking like kindling. I will battle you. I'll battle you through our Pokemon, the Ultra Beast Poipole. I want to use Poipole at some point in this... Actually, yeah, Poipole is not... is, a uh, main game. I actually really love the... the Ultra Beast Mouse... or the Ultra Recon Squad battle music. But Poipole is adorable. It's evolution, not so much. You're gonna up my special defense, that's okay. I'm gonna hit you hard with a... a Rocky MZ. I forget, where do we get the Psych MZ? I feel like that's in... the... Pony Island, whatever that area is. Oh my gosh, get obliterated. I'm gonna just brick break you, because why not? Oh, That's why. You have bad defenses. I think that brick break did more than I think it should have. Switch with the rock side. It still might. Oh god, it won't. How much? Shit? What are you gonna do to me? Toxic. Are you gonna be toxic? Protect. Really? I hope not. I know this thing is a poison type though. That's about the extent of my knowledge on it. I know that Nagandale, uh, Naganadale. I don't know how to pronounce it. Alright, seems you're still not trying to have the full potential of a Pokemon. Well, it's not that. Once again, Poipo is very weak defensively. You're up against my Lycanroc. How infuriating! It's most unsatisfying we can't summon our technology cannot overcome Vegeta! Soon as might yet be able to resolve this somehow if we could use the power of Vegeta. And yet, as we see when it comes to battling Pokemon so terribly insufficient, Vegeta! Do we get Poipo now? We'll find a way to deal with the cross me children should pursue your own dreams. Don't have the same kind of regrets we have. No, I don't get Poipo now. Dang it! I was really hoping I would. That, like, they were... They were not very good with battling, so... Oh, I should've... I mean, I suppose it's not a big deal. I didn't take that much damage from the Poipo. Just the toxic damage. And some power points. Ah, uh, Lily, it's been a while since we last saw you. What? You, you came? You actually came to help me, Lilia? Thank you, thank you. <laughs> so you know one another? Give the young trainer like Lily and she bothers with someone like you. How disappointing. I don't need your approval, mother, or your permission. I will save Cosmog. My, you do say such incomprehensible things. Call me mother? I don't have any children. Certainly not any wretched children who would run off and reject my love. So tell me, <laughs> how, how will you save the Pokemon? What can you do, Lily? Fail to convince me, listen to you. You don't even have the strength of a trainer. The only thing you've ever done is steal someone else's research material. It's, it's so terribly unattractive. I know that my fathomless love will save even someone like you. And I protect this entire world from darkness. Protect this world. Mother, what is it you're trying to do? Is that what you want, Nebby? Is that what you want to sacrifice Cosmog for? That's right, I'll force Cosmog to use power, and I very, very well may die. I'd have saved the world for my beloved Pokemon, then that is what I will do. Appreciate you mean the Ultra Beasts. Lily, I'll use Cosmog still for a great purpose. You have kept it safe until now, for that I thank you. Mother! Lily, I'm really happy you came after me, but I want to save Nebby, I don't know what I should do. Do you have Nebby in the bag? If you have Nebby in the bag, just walk out of here. If it's downstairs, well, good luck. What is this place? You want to see it, you better hurry this way. Alright, I want to check on my Pokemon. Is he still... Yeah. Alright, so I'm actually going to go... Let's see, will you heal my Pokemon? No. Alright, I'll be back. Alright, let's do this. Good job, motherfucker. <laughs> What 
What do you think? It's my private collection. My precious baby, so they'll be reserved for eternity here. Have we seen them? There's a slowpoke. The Pukamuku and the Pikachu. Do you remember those three? Go back to the school episode. The light is stolen from this world. I won't be able to love my babies any longer. So I'll open the Ultra Wormhole and take the Pokemon out but steal our light. I will capture even poor Necrozma. No! Lilia! Whoa, and Lily! Man, I'm glad to see you're okay. Oh, sweet house, you came too? Nobody didn't expect much from the members of the Ultra Recon Squad, but really, couldn't Guzma even stop a few children? I beat his ass. No, I did, not Gladian. Listen to us, please. Don't open the Ultra Wormhole. Can't lose anyone else. Not like we lost father. As you think I've forgotten, as if what, as if I could forget what happened that day. Hate being the Ultra Wormholes. Hate the Ultra Wormholes for the depths of my being. That's why I'll be the one to go. I'll not let anyone stop me, not even my own daughter and son. I believe that that's different than what she was saying. Like, I believe it was entirely for her... Her own interest that she wanted to open the Ultra Wormholes in the last, uh, in the last games. If that if that's true now that she wants to go and she wants to actually try to save the world because they because she lost her husband through this method that is a very interesting turn unless that story that I just completely forgot that she said uh, when we in the first game when we battled her but you know what daughter son wait y'all are family come on out you're a little daft all blonde. All green eyes. It's pretty easy to assume. And they're all white. Very white. Perhaps you once were a sweetheart, but those wretches beside you left me. I will still save them. Oh, the endless love of the president of the Aether Foundation as someone tasked with the protection of all Pokemon. I was able to open the Ultra Wormhole using just the gas to be extracted from a Cosmog when I was in Aether Paradise, wasn't I? Now I have Cosmog itself inside this crate here. If I use its entire body, I should be able to control the Ultra Wormhole. Please stop! It never use it! If you use it up too much of its power, you don't understand what will happen! Like when they ran away from the Paradise. It couldn't even move for ages after that. If you use too much of its power, it will die! I... I am loosening. What? It's a space vagina. Oh no. Oh? You're trying to resist, aren't you, Cosmog? Why, for Lily's sake, perhaps? How gallant you are! You love Lily, don't you? <laughs> perhaps Gladi and Lily have grown a bit since leaving Aether. But I still won't allow them to interfere with this! I'm gonna protect the Pokemon of Alola. I must go to the Ultra Wormhole and meet this Necrozma. I will have Cosma open the Ultra Wormhole no matter what. I can. I will use the power of its cage to ensure that I cannot resist any further. There you are. Mother, you disappeared too. Now you worry for me? Fine, Gladian. I will do what I must to put your worries to rest, demonstrating my strength in battle. Let's see. Yes, you will, Lily. You will battle me. If I can defeat even you, that should silence Lily's last objections as well. That ain't gonna happen. Alright, Clevable versus Tenzin. Don't really have much for a fairy. And holy crap, our Pokemon are strong. I want to see how much the Rock Slide will do. Okay, that does a sizable chunk. I can continue attack. Never mind. Alright, Tenzin, do you want to get a crit for me? That's gonna hurt. Not as much as a Moonblast would, though. That does basically have my health, though. 
I'm gonna go for Thunderfang. Tenzin, if you could paralyze it. Oh. What's coming in now? Beware. Okay. Actually, if you could paralyze this thing, that'd be awesome. That was a crit. No para. Okay. Now, what do I do against you? It's a good question. Judy, or Paralyzed Axe is literally my only special attacker. <laughs> Crap. But Java does double damage with the fire with the uh, fire type moves, so it'll be decent to hit him with the fire type move. And he goes for the drain punch. Well, shit. And then you one shot. God, I fucking hate beware. I freaking forgot. Well, I guess I had to let someone go down, so Paralyzed Hacks to come in for free. Because it won't be able to take that much of a hit. Especially Beware's lackluster. And Raichu is really good, especially. Obviously. Let's go with Thunderbolt. Alright, saving my Psychics, just in case. Sweet. Very nice. Thank you, Paralyzed Hacks. Level 43 for her. The original Par Paralyzed Hacks was female, so that's why I bred until I got a female. Anyway, next up is a Lilligant. So, my best Pokemon for combating that is dead. <laughs> Let's go to Judy. Judy can do it, considering Lilligant's got mediocre defenses. It will outspeed me, though. I, I'm pretty much sure of it. You know what? It's time for Normalium Z. Teeter Dance. Thank you, Judy, for avoiding the Teeter Dance. Now just obliterate this thing. It probably will. Because Return is pretty strong, if it's max power Return. It's pretty close to it, if not. And anyway, I can go for the Quick Attack next turn. What? Why did that do so little? I'm actually confused, though. Return by itself did just as much. I might just have to, like... Give Judy a lot of the friendless berries, or whatever, but anyways, Lilligan's down. Sweet. Judy goes level 43. Very nice. After you. No. Next up is a Melotic. Okay. Base-wise, uh, Melotic has a better special defense stat. So, but the fact that it gets Marvel skill is a reason that it's usually run as a physical wall. Let's go for the Leaf Blade. Doctor Who, you're so slow. I guess Melotic does have 81 speed, but still. Oh, okay! Is that a crit? Yep. Good job, Doctor Who. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you. He goes to level 43. Next episode, you have a Lopany too. I want to see if Lopany will still have Jump Kick. <laughs> I don't believe it will, though. I don't even know if it'll have an attacking move at this point. But I shouldn't uh, base it entirely off of this, though. So. We'll go into, we'll stay in with Doctor Who anyway, because it can't do much to me. Bounce is the only move it gets that could actually touch Doctor Who. So, at this point, it would have a charm after you, Dizzy Punch, and agility. So, it literally can't touch Doctor Who. So, I'm going to go for the, let's see. No sleep would be 130. Leaf Blade would be 120. No sleep would do more. See, I've told you, I... God damn it! I shouldn't keep trusting this, but that's stupid that it can have moves outside of that. Because that's a tutor move. No, it's a breeding move. It's also a tutor move. That's stupid. Judy, time to go beat up your counter- your evil counterpart. You shouldn't have jump kick at this point. Dizzy punch. Hang in there, Judy. No confusion, that's good. And that does less than half. If you could hit this thing with a crit, that'd be amazing, Judy. Crit? No. It's too high of a health to risk the quick attack. 
Judy, I really need you to not hit yourself in confusion. And I'm not even going for the... Come on, Judy, please. Thank you. I'm not going for the high jump, the jump kick, because I don't want to risk missing. I knew, I knew Return would take it out from there. So, sweet. Good job. And finally, is that Clefable again? Which Shenzhen did some decent damage. She will let Bubbles have some time in the spotlight. He hasn't gotten to fight yet. I forgot Lycanroc did that much damage. Nice. Alright, Psychic won't do much. Really, because this thing's... Well, it did more than I expected it. I expected it would, but... Bubbles has got great special defense. I'm really glad it used its first... A, she used her Hyper Potion immediately on this Clefable. So there we go, we did it! Woo! We only lost Incineroar. So that's nice. Even though I kind of had to send him in, basically, in order to get in um, Pikachu in. How can you be so awful? What are you talking about? You challenge me, I'll beat your ass. Okay, you ain't strong enough. You're a little, you're strong, you should carry on with the island challenge. Perhaps it made you feel uneasy about my ability to handle this task. I will be fine. I won't be alone. Guzma, with me. Yes, ma'am. I'm off to capture Necrozma. Wait, let me go. My partner Noel is born to be a beast killer. I've trained her all this time to be able to battle on the other side of the Ultra Wormhole. You're a sweet boy. But do not worry. You can leave it all in my hands. Children really would be all much happier if they only listened to adults around them. You are wrong and stupid. I hate Lusamine. I, I really do hate her. I love that Guzman's like, whoa! Mother, why? Nebby, are you all right? Nebby, what is it? Cosmo, it's obscenely heavy. It's like the heaviest Pokemon, actually. It changed form. It changed forms, and it's not moving. Come on, let's get out of here. Nothing good can happen here. You are an unharmed, thank goodness. Yeah, maybe. There's still something we have to do. The President and Guzma both disappeared in the little wormhole. That has been the Cosmog. Why stop moving like that? Even if she is like that, this seems still a mother. We can't just leave in some unknown world our own, even if it is to capture the Cosmog. If she doesn't come back... The words we just heard is that the truth, Vegeta! Vegeta, what kind of human is she? Jack is most strange carrying. You beneath the service, she thought of none but herself, Vegeta! It was all for her own selfish satisfaction, but she simply feels too much responsibility to take everything upon herself to fix. What is she thinking? What an incomprehensible individual. Though that is mu that is as much as we heard. In truth, we are not strong, Vegeta. We do not need to be used technology to resolve any problems that arises in our lives, Vegeta. That's why you discussed finding some human we could send through a world to battle Pokemon on our behalf, Vegeta. Was that... Was that... What was that you just said? You said you were going to send someone back to your world? There was some other way to open an Ultra Wormhole? The Ultra and Pony. The Pokemon that appears here is known the beast that calls the moon, Vegeta. We brought such a brute's power ourselves to come here to Lola. Think none of the, the think those two hope to capture the, Vegeta on their own, Vegeta. Do the people of this world truly have so much confidence in the strength in Pokemon battles? No Cosmo awakens it'll hunger for light and it'll descend upon the Lola to take it. Our world, Ultra Megalopolis is a world without light left in it after all. That's where you came from. We know the darkness once fell upon a little that driven back with light, Vegeta. That is what the old legends and myths tell us. In all our investigations, we still have not learned what that light was exactly. Okay, peace, nerds. Miss Lily, 
If you and your friends would like to get some rest for us, I prepared a few beds and staff residential quarters. I will we'll take you up on that. Yeah, I'm beat. I think I'll stay here. I want to spend some time trying to understand what it is my mother might have been thinking. Okay. The next day. Oh, where is Talili? Lilia, look, Miss Lily is waiting outside, ready to meet her. I really hope the Seafolk Village is better than it was in the originals. Like, if it actually has a closed store, because there's only like four closed stores in the entire game. And they had more than that in X and Y. Less per store, but still. Okay, I just want to get this cutscene over with. There's the whole new Lily thing. They should have done something with the new Lily. They should have like, made her outfit different. I picked these clothes up Do you think they suit me? Sure do. Oh, Olivia, thank you. I feel like there's much I have to do now to sleep, Nemi. See my mother. I want to be like you. I want to be strong enough to face any trial. That's why I'm going to try my hardest. This is my Z-powered form. Okay. So this is where you were. I found this downstairs. It's the sun flu. Apparently, the artifact from a little just passed. See, it's played under the sun's light. Sun flu and the moon flu. When sun together, so they can call the legendary Pokemon. As you believe in all would miss anyway. It's like the num members of the Ultra Recon Squad said, right? Legendary Pokemon really does exist. We might be able to reach out of the world where the Krasma is. Yo, take this with you. Okay. It's a Master Ball. You can catch any Pokemon without fail. Can't you save my family now? It's the least I can do. What are you gonna do, Gladigan? Deal with this mess. I gotta clean up Aether Paradise. All I'm gonna do is be able to protect everybody together with Null. Maybe I couldn't do that, but I'll make sure this place stays at, le at least stays safe. The foundation her mother loved. More than us. Because she's a bitch. Olivia! Hey, and it's Lily, isn't it? What happened to you? Yes, it's me. Now I'm ready to use my full force, too. You're all amazing! That's it, I've decided. What? I keep getting saved by Lily and my partner, Nesidjuai, right? They keep being like this and I don't change. I'm gonna get left behind by you all. I really want to save Lily and Cosmo. When my partner and I felt that way, we were in sync. We were so much stronger. That's how it felt to me. So, I'm gonna try to chase down that feeling. Together with Nesidjuai and my team. So, if family drama ended up changing the kind of dream you want to be. So, if getting you dragged into a mess. Sure, you might have been a part of, but in the end, the only one that's gonna make change is me. And besides, Miss Lucy means up there trying to keep Alola safe, right? I knew she was a good person. I guess. She's always convinced what she's doing is right. She's kind of selfish, but I think she wanted to find her father. Disappear in an ultra wormhole. How? Thank you for your kind words. I'm really happy you feel that way. Can I get you to the next? I can get you to the next island at least. Pony Island. Wait for you the docks. Come on, Lily. Show the world we can really do. Okay. And that's where we're going to end this episode, guys. Really hope you enjoyed this episode. The next episode will be going to Pony Island. Oh, my Zert, that's quite a change. Oh, uh, we'll see. You mean Lily? That's right. She looks full of energy. And it's not just because of the change in clothes. Shoot. Every time a Pokemon evolves, he wants to... What the heck is that? That's the first time I've ever gotten that. Here's all the HP of the Pokemon you've got in battle. Okay, well, anyways, we're going to save here, and we're going to end this episode with really Joy Dilks. Appreciate it. We'll be going to Pony Island next episode. We'll, we might be able to get to Executor Island, where the uh, moon altar is. And I know that the Alu uh, the Alula, the Pony Beach is right next to the, uh, it, it, it's like directly outside of the Seafold Village to the left. And I really hope the Seafold Village has more in it. And like a, an actual clothes store, but if I remember correctly, we get the uh, Raichunium Z there. So, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you all later.